We have seen leaps to Desmond Bain's game in each season over the past three years. In his sophomore season, he emerged as a bona fide starter and a rising star out of the Grizzlies backcourt. In his third year, he added more layers to his scoring with his live dribble attack inside the arc, dubbing the moniker of Downhill Des. This year, Desmond Bain has taken another impressive leap, this time as an elite scorer. Bain's currently averaging 24.7 points, 5.2 assists, and 4.5 rebounds per game. And through John Morant's 25-game suspension, Bain had to take on on-ball creation responsibilities as a playmaker and a shot creator. He ranks in the 93rd percentile among combo guards and usage rate, just a tick under 30 at 29.8% per cleaning the glass. He continues to take more and more shots unassisted as 39% of his threes and 55% of his mid-range jumpers are unassisted. With this opportunity, Bain commanded more defensive attention than ever before. While his efficiency has suffered a little bit, particularly as a three-point shooter, he's flashed vastly improved shot creation abilities against some of the league's elite defenders, whether it's Herb Jones, Drew Holiday, or former teammate Dylan Brooks. The Grizzlies went through their troubles without their all-NBA point guard. However, it led to Desmond Bain breaking out as a clear star on the offensive end, which should only make this Grizzlies team more potent as they look to gain some ground in the Western Conference. Starting with his live dribble outside shooting, Desmond Bain is taking more off the dribble threes than ever before. Partly from necessity, he is one of 11 players with more than 100 threes attempted off the dribble. Through his pull-up shooting, he showed off this filthy step back. He's developed this in his bag with stellar footwork, possessing the ability to maintain his balance and squaring his body when firing these step back jumpers. He's shown the ability to knock down step backs in isolation situations to generate more space from his airtight defender. He leverages it too in pick and roll situations by snake dribbling his way through the defensive coverage into a clean look from beyond the arc. Desert Bain has also run more pick and rolls this year. The, the B-Ball Index grades Bain as a B-plus pick and roll ball handler while generating 0.86 points per possession. This season, he's attacking opponents both inside and outside the arc out of the pick and roll. It makes him effective against any sort of coverages. The big gives too much room at the level, and Bane can rise up for the three. However, if the big is in drop, he can stop and pop for a mid-range jumper. It shined at its brightest when the Grizzlies ran 21 pick and rolls for Desmond Bane en route to him scoring 26 points just out of the pick and roll. The Pistons' bigs were sacking off too much, which led to Bain getting rhythm jumpers near the elbow. He also hit a plethora of tough shots within this coverage, including several daggers to demolish his career high on his way to a 49-point night. While the Grizzlies will still lean heavily in the pick-and-roll with John Morant, they also have a player that could attack as a pick-and-roll ball handler in a different capability. Moran is a guard that will dice his way to the rim near the paint or in the floater zone, while Bain throws flamethrowers from deep and in the mid-range. Can't discuss Bain's growth as a live dribble creator without downhill Dez. This season, Bain is shooting a career-best 67% at the rim. His improved ball handling with his burst downhill allow him to gain a step on his defender while gliding to the rim for finishes. To offset his 6'4 wingspan, he's developed this nifty hook off the drive to get his shot off with the right angle and miss the rim protection. Downhill Dez also makes his presence known in transition. He's an elite transition offensive player. A season after averaging 6.6 .6 points per game in transition, which was 5th in the NBA, he's currently 8th in the league in this department as he's generating 6.1 points per game just in transition. He's a freight train in the open court, zooming down the court like a running back with an open field to work with. His potency, though, lies with the threat of the jumper, as he can slam the brakes at a moment's notice to let it fly from deep before the defense can set up. The question people will ask 
is if Desmond Bain can keep up this scored scoring pace with John Morant back in the fold. And it's totally feasible. Bain is the ideal complement to John Morant with how he couples his elite shooting with incredible off-ball movement. He just moves with intention to generate something. Bain has these give-and-go sequences where he finds a big man to either trigger a dribble handoff with, or he'll fake the dribble handoff action with a jab step to generate a cleaner look from distance. For instance, here's his action late in the game against Boston. He calls Jaron Jackson Jr. up for either a pick and roll or a dribble handoff. Once Bain lofts the pass to Jackson, Drew Holiday tries to deny and jump the give back as Bain fakes out and darts over to the top of the key for a three. A cleaner look generated because of his footwork and the big man sagging off of Jackson. The Grizzlies have also deployed these corner get actions to draw open corner threes for Bain with a big screening the chasing defender. He is also tremendous at relocating off the ball, making himself visible to drivers for kickouts for open threes. And as Jalen Noel charges downhill, he draws Bain's man to help at the nail. Meanwhile, Bain is darting over to the empty corner for the catch and shoot three. These sequences fit perfectly with the slasher like John Morant, especially given Bain's indicators as a catch and shoot guy. He's shooting 44.4% on catch and shoot threes and 46.9% on corner threes this season. With more of his threes coming in this variety, he should see a bump from his 38% three point percentage. And with Bain increasing his three point volume, where it's around eight to 10 threes per game, he should continue scoring at a 25 point per game clip while establishing himself as one of the NBA's premier perimeter shooters. The Grizzlies now have three star level offensive options inside and out. John Morant is an automatic paint touch, capable of getting to his spots at the rim and in the floater zone against anyone and everyone. Jaron Jackson Jr. has established himself as an elite isolation and post up option in the front court. Now Desmond Bain has become a multifaceted flamethrower, capable of dropping 25 to 30 points on any given night. This development from the Grizzlies ascending shooting guard should only enhance the offense's potency while addressing its need to bolster its half-court offense in hopes to raise its playoff ceiling. If you like what you see, you can subscribe to my YouTube page here, but more of my work is on Substack at substackalitas.substack.com. It's a free Memphis Grizzlies Substack where any and all support goes to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital.